I'm joined by Joe Marini. Hi, Joe. Hi, Paul. Thank you for joining us on no, the virtual thank you. side. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, you lead the Tools Partners Ecosystem right. team. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit about what the team does? Sure. The Tools Partner Ecosystem team, basically our responsibility is to recruit and manage the partners who build uh, tools that integrate with our development tools, such as Visual Studio, Visual Studio Team System, uh, Expression, that kind of stuff. So we've just had some really exciting yes. partner news. Can you explain that to us as well, please? Sure, so we, we made two announcements. First, we are changing the licensing terms for our partners. We used to have a term in our licensing that said that if you were developing a tool that plugged into Visual Studio, you had to primarily target a Microsoft platform. So now we've removed that restriction. So any partner, any developer who wants to build a tool that plugs into Visual Studio and targets whatever platform they want, that's perfectly fine with us. Uh, the other thing that we're announcing is that we're making uh, some of the source code for Visual Studio available to our partners for uh, debugging purposes. So uh, premier level partners who are in the vSIP program uh, can come to us and, uh, and get access to the source code to aid in their debugging. Now that sounds like a fantastic opportunity for partners. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me how that's going to affect the average sort of developer though? I think what will happen is as these partners begin to develop these tools that target all these platforms, not just, not just alternative platforms, but ones we're producing as well, like Silverlight and .NET Framework 3.5, and well, the average developer will see a much wider choice of tools that are available to them to get their work done. So if I'm a developer and I'm working on a product that has to target multiple platforms because I work in a heterogeneous environment, um, I'll see a much wider choice of the tools that I have available to me. So, We've got Visual Studio 2008 and the .NET Framework 3.5 mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. announced to be available at the end of November. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to partners? I think what it means to partners is they continue to take advantage of the great platform that we already produce. Um, when you couple that together with the Visual Studio shell that we have also are shipping with as part of Visual Studio 2008, that means they can now build their tools on top of the same foundation that Microsoft itself uses to build our own development tools. So I think that that's going to lead to all kinds of scenarios that, quite frankly, we haven't even thought of yet. So, so these are great opportunities for partners and for developers. Right. So what is their next step to get on the road? Well, developers, partners should really check out the Visual Studio SDK. They should go to uh, the Microsoft Developer Network, msdn.com, download the Visual Studio SDK. Uh, as part of that SDK, they'll see the new licensing arrangements. They'll get the Visual Studio shell that they can use to build their own tools with and just start developing, start taking advantage of the opportunities. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much, Joe. Well, thank you, Paul. Thank you.